I'm Sean, you're watching The Noise Reel, and today we go over Tremulous Maximus from RPS Effects. <laughs> Let's break this down. While I have you here, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do all these things the YouTubers say to do, whatever. Listen, I don't care about that. Here's what's important. At first glance and first playthrough of the Tremulous Maximus, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was worried this may be kind of a more run of the mill kind of tremolo, and I was completely wrong, and right now I'm gonna to explain to you why, okay? So at first glance, again, the controls, fairly straight fair game for a tremolo pedal depth and rate in case you're new to tremolo the depth is how deep of the tremolo you want it to be up or shallow down okay the rate is how fast or slow okay we can these are very basic explanations of tremolo we can go into how the voltages are doing these and everything but just by your ears and for the sake of keeping it simple, right? Depth, how deep or shallow. Rate, how fast or slow. Simple, out of the way, awesome. Now, Tremulous Maximus added a cool feature. You can have two different waveforms. Square wave on the switch up here, up, or down for triangle wave. Again, simple terms, triangle wave, a little bit smooth, tremolo. Square wave, very choppy, okay? Awesome feature. Now, on the sides, instead of having an LED for the on-off switch, they have a clear section throughout the enclosure. Let's get a picture, there you go. And it, inside, it lights up two different colors depending on what setting you have for the waveform, that square or triangle. Very cool, very awesome, and I, I really dig it, it's, it is cool. And at this point, at the first playthrough, I'm thinking, okay, that's cool. I hope it's not just a gimmick. I hope it sounds great. And it does, which is fantastic. What got me over the edge about this was the auto knob. And that, ch that changed everything. So the way I use this, right? I use it around, what is that, 45%, a little below like 12 o'clock if we're talking clocks here, straight up for the auto. And I do that because, let me try to explain this the best way that I can. With Tremulous Maximus, I'm able to control, I guess, the rate and how the feel of the tremolo by how hard or soft I'm attacking my strings. And it's pretty extreme depending on how you have everything set in conjunction with that auto knob, okay? So the way I used it in the video that you just heard, about 45%. I attacked the strings hard, let it ring out. I was using their warp drive analog delay to have multiple notes. And that trem is hitting those multiple notes, but slowing down as it goes because the signal's degrading. This is game changer. It's nothing like, it's no profound thing and nothing like brand new. But the way that Tremulous Maximus is utilizing that feature and the way that I've been able to play with it, completely musical. I don't know what else to say, guys. This is this is an amazing trim. I really dig it. To throw it over the edge, it has an expression pedal input right here for the rate. So you can do whatever you want, man. That's really, you can do whatever you want. Let's go over some sounds. I'm Sean, you're watching The Noise Reel. See ya.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 